So with all that weed on the beach, especially around Old Reckon and Woods, the North Kent coast, fishing's sort of really sort of limited really to, you get an hour or two's window in between the flood and the ebb where you can fish. So if you want to come and have a decent length of time fishing, you got a good place to come is the piers. We got a few around us. And uh, not really going to go on about how to fish a pier, but down the wall fishing at a pier. And um, so I've come to the Addy today, and let's see. Uh, down the wall here is for conger or bass. So, uh, going to be trying that, show you the rigs for that. And um, we're going to go to the Samphire in a harbour key so we do a bit of bass fishing and then samphire where you get a lot of smaller fish where uh, and I'll show you what we use for going fishing down the wall and I'm uh, gonna try it with an underwater camera as well if the water's clear enough it's a nice bright day it might be alright for that I've had a dogfish and a hound on here so far but, uh, when the tide stops running I'm gonna gonna go down the wall as I say and this is the Addy, so down the wall here is conga or bass. And uh, as I say, we get that set up and have a look. I'll film the set up, I think I just had a bite then. Anyway, when I get the down the wall set up, when this tie starts running, I'll do it and I'll, uh, I'll show you. Well, I said that was a bite. This is just another smooth out. Before we go down the wall, this is just what a nice, nice starry one. I'll get him back anyway. I don't want to keep him out too long. Hope he's in the picture. Cool. So, I'm yeah. going down the wall now. Uh, that is at the Addy. And it's for Congo or Bass. So, you say it really simple. Just a zip line on the main line. Bead and swivel. Remember that the, down the bottom of the piers it can be a bit snaggy, so you can you don't want anything too elaborate down there. Unless you're fishing, you know. We we'll do some more fishing uh, over at Samphar, where they uh, where you fish off the bottom and use booms and things. But today we're just doing this whole squid. Yeah, pen look and a zip slider and about six foot of trace. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna flick it out about five yards and just let it down to the bottom and uh, go from there. Right, it's out. As you can see, the line there's going down. Just a two, three, five yards out. And what I've got is the reel out of gear and the ratchet on. So. Just sit back and wait for that noise. Fingers crossed. I only use a uh, 25 pound boat clock, 25 pound class boat rod. Put down the wall. And there it is, waiting for a conga or a nice big bass. Big baits, big fish. First cast success. It's not the biggest one. It's probably only a pound or so. But target achieved. What you can have down the wall when the other fishing is probably a bit too much. With all the weed we got. At least we're catching fish. It's a babby, I'm gonna get him back. So we're down the wall again here at Addy. The Addy. And uh, what you got on there? Mine? Jermaine. What rig you got on there? A uh, little two at flat, the size two. With ragworm down the wall. And you got a bite on that rod, but we're not filming that. We're filming down the wall. We just had a nice Down nice the wall on. stuff. You just had a rest, yeah you did. Almost took my rod over the side because I hadn't got it quite as far back. And bites again there, look, that's tapping away all the time. Well, now we know that 
I know I've got, got I've got my uh, whole squid conga down the hall. Conga rig. And if the sun comes out and it lightens up, we're going to try putting the camera down the wall and see what it actually is down the bottom there. Because I haven't. Uh, I think the water's clear enough, but we need, need it to be a bit brighter to get some light down there. Look at that, look. Another rest. Let's wait and see. Okay, so that took. Oh, yes. We can get down the wall, the conger in and the live bait in. The mackerel we caught were too big for live bait, and the conger baits haven't been touched. Anyway, it just goes to show you don't have to cast to catch fish. on camera hopefully <laughs> oh, it's a tiny little pouting but <laughs> there's the camera coming up so hopefully we've uh, caught that as well so you can see it actually underwater and uh, as it's coming up oh look at that thing of beauty thing of beauty Thank <laughs> you. 
last bit of downable fishing was from the Addy over there. And now I've come to Samphire. But, uh, I'm not going to do just fishing, but it's all about down the wall. So, it's rocky, just see the rocks. Yeah, that's what we're fishing down onto. A lot of smaller fish, wrasse, pollock, bass. He's already having lunch. I just bloody got here. Um, a lot of smaller fish, pouting, pollock, wrasse, down the wall, but lots of them. Most of them probably under a pound. And the rigs we're going to use are this is the Vickers, just a two, that's just a two a pound oster in it. Small hooks, and then a rotten link on the bottom, weak line. And I have made up some stainless steel spreader booms. Same sort of thing, really. It's just cheaper because you use coat hangers, isn't it? That's not a coat hanger, it's stainless steel wire with a rotten bottom, and I use a pebble with an hole in it. So that's what we're going to use. As I say, generally smaller fish, rag, rag, smaller rag. rocks, little bits of ragworm, little bits of prawn, that sort of thing. <laughs> and we're gonna. Don't know, and I've got the camera, the underwater camera, which oh, which I kicked my rod there. I'm also gonna have a go with that and see if we can get something on there. Hang on. So this is down the wall at Samphire. Look how many rods we got. We are also fishing the bottom and float fishing. And we've uh, got the spinners and fair as usual stuff down here. But the filming's all about down the wall today. So we're gonna get going. There's probably enough water there now. Let's go. Well, I'm fishing now, I'm gonna show you my rod vest. All I've got is a trolley, it's a long old walk here, so I've got an old, old shopping trolley with a box on it. Anyway, on that I've got a, a pier, a pier rod wrist. Okay, with these on. These on to lock the top of your rod. And what this allows you to do is your rod comes out horizontal. And you can be your fixed distance out from the wall. If you move your rod out a bit. If you just lean your rod up against the wall, you don't know how far out. This allows the rod to be out. And you can, you know, you can muck about if you want it a foot out, six inches out, or tight to the wall, just by moving the rod back, back or forwards on that rest. And because of the locking bit over the top of the rod, if they pull down the front, your rod's not going anywhere. There it is. the difference between he's leaning up against the wall he's probably always really tight in on the wall his lines I don't know if you can see so that's why I do that it's a simple thing to do if you haven't got a trolley and just got a rod rest do it on your rod rest It hangs out nicely. We'll have a nice big pollock in a minute. And if the fish start biting nice, we'll um, we'll send this camera down. See if we can get one on camera. It would be good. Okay. Well, there you go. First cast. I think we've both got fish. Mine's on the spreader. As I said, little fish. That's a blenny. He's got a fish up there. What you got? A tiny little wiggly little blenny. Oh, he's in a blenny as well. Different colour. Yeah, a little different colour. And away. Oh, he's away. So there we are. Both had a fish first cast. Well, drop down. Not really a cast, is it? There they go. Alright, let's get this little fella back. 
Nothing to prove the booms work just as well. Another thing that's pregnant. This is fat. I look pregnant. Yeah. Actually got the underwater camera down on mine at the minute. Hoping to get something on that to show you. Well, I won't know until I get home. But we've just caught this one on the camera. So maybe, maybe we've got that on film. <laughs> Let's see, beautiful looking fish they are. Look at the colours on them. Nothing big, but beautiful, beautiful fish. And lots of them. That's down the wall at Sanfar. We keep going to see if we can catch a power in a pollock, especially on the camera. It's nice to see what goes on down there. Another one from down the wall. It's a bit different. A pollock. A pollock. Maybe a small one, but it yeah. shows you what's down there. Okay. Different fish. Put it up in the sun. Let's have a look at it. Right. It's the best fish you're going to catch all day. So. Might well be. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I don't mind if we do. Ah. Look at that. Just goes to show what's down there. Yeah. Bit of everything. We've had Blenny, Rass, Pollock, and, and Bass now. Yeah. Well done, mate.
Well, they're not all small, are they? Hey, look at the size of that. Right. Whoa. Some decent stuff down the wall. Nice size. That's got to be knocking a pound, isn't it? 35. Probably legal, actually. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. And here we have the Sever Rass, Blenny, Bass, Pollock, and now we've got a pouting. All down the wall. Nothing massive. But just showing you what you can catch. Just by dropping it down the wall. Good way to get the kids into catching fish. I think I've said that before. Well, I'll say it again. <laughs> there you go. Pouting, species number five. It's a good size rest. Oh well, I lost my weight, but that's the whole point of a rotten bottom. Oh, calm down. Beauty. Well done. You've got green lips. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, it must be some sort of disease. That's one of the day, I think. Time to go. That's a good size, isn't it? That's not bad, man. That's where you can. Oh, that's where you get fishing down the wall, guys. A good day. Yep. Lay it on that stone, so. Oh, hang on, I've got that. Just lay it on there so the sun can shine on it because it's lovely colour, isn't it? Oh, you're going to put a rag. Yep. Been to the school of fish trim. Look at the colours on that. Oh, red eye, I'll get out of sight, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, lovely fish. Probably the best one of the day. Oh, he's gone. Well, I hope you go down the wall there, because I've got a mackerel down there. <laughs> well, just showing you the video of the seal. You saw that seal. Um, for part of the down the wall thing, we was going to get some live bait, do a live bait rig down the wall, and uh, so we thought we'd feather for a few mackerel. What you're about to see next is what happens when you feather for mackerel when there's seals about. It's exciting stuff. <laughs> well, this is just fighting because he's got a string of feathers oh, no. uh, and there was a seal on the end of it. <laughs> well, it was a full house and uh, He's got let one left, it's a very sizable one, but look at the state of that. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you lost five. Yeah, so if you're gonna go feathering for mackerel, make sure he ain't here. Oh yeah, very pretty. Yeah. Off he goes. <laughs> <laughs>